On April 6, 2002, Ipswich Town played their final Premier League game, suffering a defeat to Bolton. It marked the end of an era as they were relegated from the top flight after a valiant effort. Little did they know it would be 22 long years before they had come close to returning. For years, Ipswich Town fought tirelessly for promotion in the championship. However, their hopes were dashed time and again. The lowest point came in 2019 when they were relegated to League One, a blow that shook the club to its core. Ipswich were a Premier League club in the first three seasons of the competition following its inception in 1992, before returning in 2000 following four years in the second tier. After an excellent first season in which they finished fifth and qualified for Europe, they suffered relegation in 2001, 0-2 following an 18 to place finish. They haven't been back since, but under their new manager McKenna might just be the man to complete the resurgence and get them back into the top flight. Ipswich Town have made a brilliant start to life back in the championship under young manager Kieran McKenna. Right now in England, not many managers are as respected as the 37-year-old Northern Irish manager Kieran McKenna. He's the boss of Ipswich Town and he's done a great job getting his team out of League One. From the way they've been playing this season, it seems like they're doing really well and have a good chance of going back to the Premier League. Despite their excellent attacking metrics, Ipswich haven't dominated the ball this season. In fact, they are mid-table in the championship for average possession with 52.83%. However, their pass frequency isn't very different this season. It's just that the quality of opposition has improved so much that their averages rank lower. Ipswich have focused on what they do without the ball and on making it as hard as possible for the opposition to transition from defence to attack. They lead the championship for shots following high turnovers of possession. They are also among the best sides for not allowing opponents to settle in possession this season. Not only were they an attacking force to be reckoned with on the way to League One promotion last season, they also conceded the fewest goals, 35, and kept the most clean sheets, 23. Impressive in defence as well as outstanding in attack, they are top three in most clean sheet in current championship. The main threat from McKenna's Ipswich team this season comes from their formation, which is a 4-2-3-1. In this setup, George Hurst plays as the striker. Connor Chaplin is in the number 10 position. Nathan Broadhead plays on the left and Wes Burns plays on the right. In the championship this season, only Kieran and Dewsbury Hall has a higher total of expected goals assists from open play than Burns or Broadhead. Burns mostly stays out on the right and is known for making lots of crosses. In fact, only two other players in the championship have made more crosses than him this season. He also creates chances for his team, ranking third in the league for chances created from open play. Broadhead, on the other hand, likes to move around more. He often cuts inside from the left and causes problems for opponents with his skill. This makes Ipswich's attacking play a bit uneven because Burns focuses on crossing while Broadhead prefers to cut inside. Broadhead's style of play means Ipswich are among the top teams in the championship for making crosses and attacking through the middle of the pitch. This is because they move quickly from defence to attack, control the ball well in the middle of the field and then spread it out wide to players like Burns and Broadhead. Chaplin plays a bit differently in Ipswich's team. He's more like a withdrawn forward. But even in this role, he's the player who takes the most shots in the league. Last season, he also led the league in shots in League One with 161 shots and scored 26 goals from an attacking midfield position. Although Chaplin used to play as a striker, he now has the freedom to move into dangerous areas between 12 and 20 yards from the goal. Burns and Broadhead set him up with their passes, making him one of the most dangerous attackers in England outside the Premier League. To have a consistent squad despite moving up a league in the middle of the run is testament to the quality of the squad that McKenna has built in Suffolk. Of course, it should be mentioned that he's been backed financially by the Ipswich board, with the club having one of the biggest budgets in League One last season and higher than several clubs in the Championship this season too. Despite this, Ipswich's summer spend was relatively low, 
Only four players were bought for a fee in the last transfer window. And of those, just Jack Taylor and Hurst have appeared for the first team in the championship this season.